All right, guys, so I got 5% battery. I just want to close out by saying that God is faithful to those who are faithful, but he's also faithful to those who aren't. We're living in such a time where God wants to pour out his grace in overwhelming fashion. You just have to call upon him, humble yourself in his sight, and just call upon his name. And I promise you that he'll hear your voice. I promise you he'll respond to a heart that is humbled before him. We're living in the last days. We gotta be desperate for the things of God. People are perishing in their sin all around you. They need to hear a voice of inspiration. And if you're not gonna be the one that rises up and let your voice be heard, then who's going to do it? God can take a simple man or an ordinary man, regular people, and he can do great things through them if you just believe. You just gotta stand up, believe in the power of God. It is he who gets you there. Over the mountains, through the valleys, God will be faithful to his people. God bless Haiti. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, my friends, God wants to lift up this country and bring blessing and those curses. And we're here today fighting on your behalf to break the powers of witchcraft, to break the curses of voodoo, to say that Jesus Christ is King of glory. That you cannot rebel against God and then receive his blessing also. You must either serve Jesus or serve darkness. You cannot serve God and serve witchcraft. We must renounce hidden works of darkness. You cannot serve God and practice voodoo. We want you to know the bringer of life. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you can't be saved. Jesus is coming back. And I want you to ask yourself, am I ready to meet God? What will I say when I stand before him? Have my sins been forgiven? My friends, ask yourself today, am I living a life of righteousness? Does does my life look like Jesus? Am I living the way that Jesus lived? Do I love my neighbor? Do I love my enemies? Do I love my enemies? Do I blessing those who are against me? Do I forgive 70 times 7? Ask yourself today. If you die, Ask yourself today, if I die, what am I going to say when I stand before God? How will you account for the deeds of your life? You cannot earn this free gift of salvation. You cannot be good enough for God. Salvation is a free gift. It is by grace through faith. In, believe, in believing in what Jesus has done for you. Are you feeling depressed? Call on Jesus. Are you hurting deep inside of your soul? Are you hurting deep inside of your soul? Call on Jesus. Do you need food? Do you need food at home? Call on Jesus. The Bible promises us this. That my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. To seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness.
righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. We're here today because we care about you. Each one of us, every day we wake up, we face the risk of dying. Any of us could die at any moment. The difference is this. The difference is this. If I die, I know that I will be with Jesus. And I offer my life as a living sacrifice. So that you might know him. Because we care about you. We don't want you to die and go to hell. Anything and everything that you have ever done. God can't forgive you. It doesn't matter what you've done. God can't forgive you. Run to Jesus. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. In Jesus, it's joy and purpose. He said, I am the resurrection of the life. God is faithful, my friend. God is we bless you in the name of Jesus. We want you to know that God loves you. Seek Jesus. Jesus. And find life for your soul. My friends, I leave you with this. Tell if you hear his voice. Harden not your hearts. Let him have everything that is yours. Lay your heart on the altar. Say, God, I give you my life. My heart and my mind. My soul and my strength. I surrender. And God will give you peace. God bless you. God is full of the glory of Jesus. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness.
avec nous. And that God will give you power. Bon Dieu a pas puissance. And if you believe, si vous croyez, little ones, if you believe, si mon si vous croyez, the Bible says, la Bible dit, that with God nothing is impossible. Avec bon Dieu pas rien c'est possible. All things are possible for those who believe. Et tout ça est possible pour ceux qui croient. And the Bible says, et la Bible dit, I can do. Vous pouvez faire. You can do. Vous pouvez faire. All things. Tout ça. Through Christ. Le Jésus. Because He gives you strength. Parce qu'il donne force. To believe in Jesus. To overcome every hurt or every difficulty, and to be victorious. Do you believe? Raise your hand if you believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Much love to you. Did you bring any of your candy? Did you bring any of your candy? Ask them if they want any. You want some candy? Okay, you can. Did you bring enough? I don't have a ton of it. Get in the line. The one day he didn't bring a lot. <laughs> Oh, God bless you. Bon Dieu béni. Bon Dieu béni, non? Uh oh, we're running low. <laughs> yeah, just start giving everything out. You want to just give the whole don't, thing? Don't open it. Don't open it, bro. No? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're coming back for seconds, bro. Oh, sorry. Just tell them to split it, yeah. Share it. Okay. God bless you guys. God be with you. All right, guys, finishing up here in Haiti. We are on our last days and God has been so faithful. I just want to give glory to God for once again for everyone who has put in the work on these days. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless Haiti. I'll see you in the next location.